Well, the debates are over, and now the final push is on in the presidential race. Hey, Colorado. Are you ready to help us win this thing? Paul Ryan introduced his running mate, Mitt Romney, before a packed house at Red Rocks. The Republicans taking center stage tonight. President Obama has his own campaign stop in our area tomorrow. More on that in just a moment. First, to the Romney-Ryan rally, which also featured some big musical acts in Kid Rock and Rodney Atkins. Nine News political reporter Brandon Ritterman is at the famous amphitheater in Morrison with a look at what they all had to say. Brandon? Yeah, Mark, and it was really an impressive display. This was by far the most heavily produced Romney event we've seen in this campaign cycle, and it seemed really centered around the idea of projecting that the Romney campaign's in control, that they've got this thing pretty well in the bag, if not just finally clinching it, and uh, they want people to know that they're, they're in the lead. At least that was the, the projection that was given off, both in the look of the thing at Red Rocks, which we're about to see, but also in what Mitt Romney had to say. Early on, he poked fun at the Obama campaign. If they ask you, well, well why should we vote for, for Mitt and Paul and, and, and instead of the team that's there now, you've got a lot of things you can tell them, but one is this, say, look at the Obama campaign. It's reduced to talking about smaller and smaller things. They're, they're talking about saving characters on, on Sesame Street. They're, <laughs> they're talking about silly word games. Uh, day in and day out, there's one attack after the other, and it attacks on us. That, that does not make an agenda for the future. Our campaign is about getting this economy going, getting good jobs for the American people, leading in the world, protecting freedom, and creating a bright and prosperous future. Also lending itself to that air of bigness was the fact that Ryan appeared with Romney on the stage for the first time together since the ticket was announced. They spoke to a towering crowd of more than 10,000 people, uh, some of whom wore, uh, wore color-coded T-shirts to form a Colorado flag out of the sea of bodies there. Romney even looked a little taken aback when he uh, first took the stage, uh, just at the size and scale of the event that was put on there. As you mentioned, a couple of musical names opening for them. And after the entertainment was over, it was all about the economy. Confidently, Romney spoke on the, on the economy, attacking the president for everything from jobs to the national debt. And as much as this event was meant to project an air of confidence, there was also uh, some retail campaigning to be done. Mitt Romney wrapped up his speech with a plea to voters. It matters for your kids and for their kids. It matters for 23 million Americans struggling to get a good job. It matters for the future of our planet to have a nation like ours, the leader of the world, strong and robust, with a strong military and a strong economy and strong values and strong allies. It matters. We're going to make it happen. Colorado, you need to make it happen. And tonight, the Obama campaign responded in a statement saying that they viewed this event as Mitt Romney being on the defensive tonight. Of course, President Obama, who's also been known to draw a big crowd or two in this campaign cycle, planning his event, as you mentioned, tomorrow in Denver at City Park. Nine News, of course, going to be covering both, Mark. Yes, we are. They're both drawing big crowds and, and lots of traffic as well. We were also uh, really uh, impressed by the traffic jam this evening out there, Brandon. Yeah, C-470 crawled to a, a complete standstill as the motorcade came in. Secret Service is in charge of getting both of these guys where they need to go safely. So that's something that they're definitely taking seriously. And, of course, the campaign's taking Colorado very seriously. We can tell they both think Colorado's winnable. It's going to be exciting last couple of weeks here leading up to Election Day. No question. Brandon Ritterman at Red Rocks tonight. Brandon, thank you very much.